is poaching decimates Africa's elephant and rhino populations with thousands killed in the past year alone. Wildlife reserves in Kenya are increasingly taking up arms to save their wildlife. For this anti-poaching unit, the day begins at dusk. After a meal of cabbage and sweet tea, the rangers grab their rifles and march off to their night's work, protecting rhinos. Increasingly, as the tactics of poachers here in the Kenyan enclave, wildlife reserves are taking up arms to save their wildlife. Benson is part of a new Kenyan police reservist anti-poaching team based out in Old Joggy Ranch to protect approximately 65 rhinos living here in addition to elephants, leopards and other wildlife. In May, a ranger was shot dead here by poachers. The rangers are often drawn from a surplus of unemployed youth in the area. With the safari tourism worth more than a billion dollars to the economy and 500,000 jobs, safeguarding the wildlife population is not the only motivation. To combat poaching, the reserve employs small planes, attack and tracker dogs, thermal imagery scopes and an array of weapons. But the most important tool is having boots on the ground. It, it sounds crazy, but this is actually a war. Um, it is organized crime um, on an international level and it is it's completely out of control. And these are the guys front line who are having to put their lives at risk in order to protect these animals. Poachers killed four rhinos just last month in the deadliest attack Kenya has faced over 25 years, bringing the number of rhinos killed by poachers so far this year to 22, compared to a total of 59 last year. There are now just over 1,000 rhinos left in Kenya. It's amazing. Across the continent, poaching is reaching unprecedented levels, fueled by the global demand for ivory and horn, particularly in China and Vietnam, and pushing the price of rhino horn higher than gold. Um, if the rhino go, in my opinion, what's next? The elephant, buffalo, where does it stop? Um, there's always going to be a market for something. If it's not rhino horn, it'll be, it'll be uh, you know, um, meat poaching, whatever. There's... I think you've got to make a stand. But here on the front line, protecting Kenya's wildlife is becoming an increasingly dangerous and expensive task.